What are some of your secret formulas for successful advertising? I don't know how secret they are. They're pretty common <laughs> sense. Okay. okay. I think advertising is probably the only common sense science out there. Um, all you have to do, if let me put it this way, if you've ever been a customer, you can be an advertiser. Okay. You just have to figure out what what do customers want. Advertising isn't about you and how great you think you are. It's trying to analyze what do my customers really want. What do they expect? What would I expect as a customer? And if you can appeal to that. Got a good sales campaign, and you've got a good advertising campaign. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess a good creative. Very important. The actual message you're sending out there. Absolutely. Uh, as we said in your last show, advertising is really just multiplied salesmanship. Whatever you're training your salespeople to say, and whatever works for them, should work in your advertising. And it's all about coming up with benefit statements that your prospects and customers can relate to. It's, it's really that simple. So putting it in terms of the customer benefit statement, what would be a benefit statement, or how would you use that in a an well, ad? Well, there, there's, a, there's a few ways we measure that. One of the ways we measure it is is what we call the empathy index. Empathy is de in the dictionary is defined as uh, your capacity to participate in another's feelings or ideas. You know yourself if you if you meet a, a salesperson and they don't even ask you what you're looking for, or what your needs are. It, maybe it's to buy a car. And they don't even ask you if you got ten kids and a dog or anything, uh, and and they're trying to sell you a little two seat seater sports car. And you do have ten kids and a dog. Uh, it, it's about trying to relate to the person you're selling to. What what do they really want? What would really make them happy? And that's not what do you want to sell. It's what what do they need? What do they what would really be a good buy for them? And when you can figure that out, you've got a good relationship. You've got a sale. And I don't care if it's a, a salesperson selling it. Of this commercial selling it, you have to figure out what the audience wants. I guess that's a, a, the difference in the phrasing would be in business since 1905, or mm -hmm. creating satisfied customers since 1905. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, the, when, when you say, "I've been in business since 1902," the, the skeptical consumer says, "Well, that's good for you. What's in it for me?" Mm -hmm. You should look at every line in your. I don't care if it's a radio script, a TV script, a newspaper. Look at every line and play skeptic yourself and say. What's in that for me?